Welcome to Chit Chat with Gina, your host, Gina Barbera. Today, we are at the Brighton Center off of Higgins Road in San Antonio, Texas, visiting with the VP of Education, Michelle Rivera. And I just want to say, Michelle, thank you so much for your time. And what a beautiful building that we're in. And I, I think this is the library, is that yes, correct? Yes, this is our preschool library. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate you all coming down and talking with us today. Um, this is our library for our preschool. And so we actually come into this space in small groups in our preschool. That is awesome. So what I want to make sure is that parents that are watching this, if you are looking for a place to learn about, to put your child in preschool, I'm just excited to be able to bring you some information that Michelle will be able to share with us today and just tell us. I know that Fiesta is just finished and I know that um, we just finished with the, bi the biggest, I guess, fundraiser that y'all just did this week. But what makes Brighton Center unique? What's really interesting about the Brighton Center is that we serve children of all abilities. And what that means is that if your child is ready to read, we're right there ready to help them. And if your child needs speech therapy, we have a pediatric therapy clinic on site that can also support um, your child. And so it, it is a very unique way to approach education. It's all inclusive. We're all in the same classrooms. Children are learning from one another. It's, it's really a wonderful a dynamic to see in the classroom. Amazing. And what are some of your parents saying about Brighton? The parents are actually just so wonderful and just loving. They love the inclusive education piece. Um, what we're finding is that families are saying that their children are well prepared for kindergarten. So really? it is amazing. The kindergarten teachers were getting great feedback from them. This is a program that encourages curiosity, resilience, not just academics. So we are looking at the whole child and the whole child's development. So how young can you, you come to Brighton? We have, we have two locations. Okay. Um, and we have six weeks to five years here at our Higgins location, and then 12 months to five years at our Lowellwood location. What was it, 12 years? 12 months 12 to months? five years at our Lowellwood location. Okay. That's just down from the zoo. Okay. And so that's over in that Monte Vista neighborhood. And then we have our Higgins location, which is the closest little hidden gem here <laughs> in this neighborhood, close to Stone Oak. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I saw on your website, y'all did some, had some renovation done to that one, that particular location down We there. sure did. We just got a new roof, which Yay. we're so excited about. Um, it's not very, um, the kids don't get to play with it, right. but they definitely live under it. And so we're really excited that uh, we got a new roof um, and that we can continue having a beautiful space for young children for years to come. Yes, and I noticed that even over here at this location, y'all have done some wonderful uh, renovations as well in a beautiful playground. Tell us a little bit about some of the features here. Absolutely. We have this amazing space. Higgins is our um, kind of flagship. It is our home where all of our... Um, all of our different uh, support centers are here, so we have a really large campus. We have a beautiful natural playground. We have this wonderful ability center with a library in it. It's really, really wonderful to see all of the different spaces that children get to go and play in um, and get to experience. Very similar to big school. We want to make sure that they're ready to go to elementary school and that um, they know about working in different spaces and traveling to and from them and <laughs> all of the good things that young children need to learn. And what would be something that uh, parents might be surprised to learn about Brighton Center? I think the one thing that parents would be the most surprised to learn is our degreed teachers. Okay. So while the entire childcare industry is in a, in a hiring crisis mm -hmm. and we're losing teachers, Brighton is retaining them. We, have, we pay above the average wage. Um, we have wonderful benefits for teachers. And we also have... Lot, a lot lower ratios in the classrooms. So that means okay. less children to each teacher. So teachers get to spend just more time and they get to have more one-on-one -on -one with children, which is what they love to do. And so we keep our teachers. That's really that exciting. That's great. And what about, how is it that you uh, help your children mm -hmm. be prepared for elementary, kindergarten? 
Yes, lots of um, centers, lots of people believe that um, academics is the way to help children be successful. But what the latest science is showing us is that we actually, and I know sometimes I can get really nerdy, so please <laughs> forgive me. Um, I love research. Um, and so what the latest research is showing us is that resilience, um, social and emotional skills are the key to success, not only in school, but in life. And so mm -hmm. children who are part of an inclusive education, like like we have here, are actually scoring higher on tests. Really? Um, they're actually more academically ready to learn. And so that's what we're doing that's a little bit different. Our focus is a little different. So um, it isn't, it's not cookie cutter. We that's individualize good. everything for young children and get to know their families and work with their families. Okay. And so I'm curious, what the day um, for preschool is from what time to what time? We're open from 7.30 to 5.30. Okay. We believe that learning happens all of that time. And so we have our um, main teacher is here starting at 7.30 and she's here at 4.30. And so we have just a great um, plan and routine for all the children to uh, learn and grow during that entire time that they're here. Okay, great. Is there anything that you want to add that you want to make sure that your parents that are looking know? <laughs> well, first and foremost, the advice that I give to every family is pick a child care center that feels good because there is something to understanding and, and feeling good about the place that you're with. Um, and so I always say go with your gut. Okay. Um, when you come in, people should greet you. People should um, be happy. Ch the children should be happy. Um, it should smell great. It should be a beautiful facility, well-maintained. All of those things are really important when you're looking for a center. Ask questions. Ask really good questions. Did the person remember your name? Um, did they want to know about your child? Do they care? That's the biggest, that's the biggest one. And how you feel about um, the center is really important because you are going to be a partner with the people who are helping raise your child. And so we want that to have happen. So I always give those pieces of those little nuggets of advice to families um, when they're looking for care. And do you encourage parent involvement or is there like volunteer opportunities for moms or you know I don't know some I remember when my child was young I still wanted somehow to be involved somewhere is that is that encouraged at all absolutely um, we want parents to be a part of what's going on so parents are children's first and most important teachers so we can't replace you. We want to work with you. We want you to be a part of their education and learning. So we have parent classes. We have opportunities for volunteering. We have activities. We want you to be in the classroom. We have an open door policy at all times. So we want parents to be active members and participants in their child's education. All right. So if anyone has any questions or would like to schedule a tour, would they ask for you? Uh, Michelle? Would yes, we tour on Tuesdays, but yes, definitely you can go to the website. Um, it's, and we'll have that displayed as well for people to see. Absolutely. It's brightonpreschool.org. Um, go to the website, fill out an inquiry, and we will get back to you to do a tour. Um, we are an invitation um, tour facility, so we want to know that you're coming, and that's how we maintain our safety and security on campus. All right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed a little bit of information. And again, thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Thank you.